Hey everybody, today we're taking a look at Speedy B's newest product here. It's their all-in-one board. It's F405 and rated at 40 amps per motor in a small compact form factor. 25 by 25 mounting pattern right here with additional UARTs and it's of course got the Speedy B Bluetooth built in so you can connect to it wirelessly and do all your configurations. So we're gonna get right into it here, okay? So if you've never ordered from Speedy B, they usually come in boxes that look like this right here. So you've got the top, you got a little welcome message right here, as well as some maps and stuff for when you go to your soldering. And they're really pulling out all the stops here with this thing right here at an amazing price, okay? $56 currently on the website for just this little thing, but you're getting so much more. So let's take a quick look at the all-in-one because that's the exciting part here, right? This thing looks amazing. It's small, yet the pads will be easy enough to solder to if you're not very good at soldering. I don't claim to be the best myself, but hey, don't judge me. But you can see you got your different pads here. So if you wanted to add like GPS to this, you can, right? External receivers, plug and play for the DJI air units and whatnot here. It's got this nice heat sink on top. I have seen some people remove this in other videos. So if you wanted to save a few extra grams by removing that, it is a possibility. I feel like they were still trying to work out the details on getting the antenna to work after that for Bluetooth connectivity. But if you wanted to peel these off on both the top and bottom, you can do that, okay? Right here, you've got a plug and play port for the uh, DJI Air unit, so you can just plug it right in there. And then on the side, we've got a little mini USB port right here. So if you wanna plug in directly for configuration, we can do that. But they're also giving us some additional adapters and whatnot. So let's continue through here. So if you're new to soldering on small little areas, they're gonna give you a soldering board here that's included, which is super nice. It's a really nice touch right here. We got small pads, we got big pads, all of that great stuff. And I believe that some of this is also laid out in a similar configuration as to this right here so that you can really practice and get that all pinned down. Okay, let's see if that is. So these would be the power leads right here. And if we kind of lay it up side by side, there's the power leads, there's your motor tabs over here. Yeah, so you're gonna get that practice that makes it really easy. Now on top of that, we've got a few additional things as you can see over here. Okay, boom, this one, it's another USB port and they've got the cables. So you can connect this to the other one. So if you wanna extend this USB port outside of your Cinewhoop, because sometimes it's hard to reach, right? Especially on smaller builds, you can have that. That'll make it really convenient. Over here, we've got this little power distribution board. I need smaller fingers to get these out right here. So if you wanted to power some, some additional peripherals or whatnot, right? You can attach one of the power leads off to this, like the five volt pads, etc. You connect it here at the top and then you've got four more down here that you can plug into off of that. So it's basically an extension cord. Yeah, or like a, a power bar outlet, so to speak. And then we've got this last little bit right down here. This is gonna be a little BET converter. So if you put a little solder blob across these two ports right here, you could actually make it uh, nine volts. So if this is something you need, they've included it. It's just there. Probably never bad to have one on hand, just in case. And if we take a look at our final bits and pieces here with the accessories, let's just pull this out and quality assurance, yay. Uh, we got a couple baggies here, some stuff is sectioned off, so let's see what we've got. So we've got an XT30 uh, 470 UF capacitor. We've got a nice little assortment of cables here uh, for connecting to a DJI 03 air unit, soldering directly to it, as well as the uh, USB extension uh, cable if you plan on using that right here. And then this other package is gonna be our different hardware, so for mounting it, if that's not included already with your frame, so it's never bad to have these or extras on hand because stuff gets it's lost, broken, um, you know, we're stockpiling all of this. So at any rate, really excited for this build here. So you might want to like and subscribe and stay tuned. This is going into a two inch Cinewhoop so I can use it for real estate or indoor tours, things of that nature. I have all of my components, uh, such as the motors, the props, etc., the frame. So we are ready to build. So I'm going to be building that here within the next week, week and a half. So if you want to see what the final product is with this and my two inch build, stay tuned for that. Otherwise, I will see you all in another video. Bye.